it wouldn't shock me if like there was an electrical fire and someone collected the insurance money. I can't find anybody here. This goes in, one of you gets this ball. Here kitty kitty. I'm keeping this. But I can't make this stuff up. This is the spot my ball found. We're off to play the three worst rated golf courses in America per your recommendations from my previous video. We have three days to do it, no time to delay. Let's get busy. So it's off to the airport and hopping on a flight due south all the way down to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And then just a short 15 minute drive to the golf course. Hey, how are you? Great. I got a time like at one. We are at the Bonaventura Golf Club, just outside of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Let's take a look at some of the reviews. We've got four reviews in a row, all one star, no comments. Then one of my favorites is from Julian, one star review. Important, before heading to the first hole, we stopped by the drink stand and purchased two Gatorades. I took a sip of my Gatorade and immediately felt a slimy substance mixed in with the drink. That's disgusting. I looked at the bottle and saw white orange slimy and stringy substances floating all around in the bottle. It was disgusting. I went back to the drink stand and told the woman and she reached into the ice chest and grabbed another orange Gatorade. Hey, Julian, why are you even trying a second time there? I think we could have made a better decision there, Julian. Like. Don't drink the Gatorade. And William, with his one-star review, says, uh, don't forget your sand wedge when you go to the greens because you'll need it. Same goes for tee boxes as well and the rest of the course. Terrible first experience golfing in Florida for the first time. Definitely should have done more research prior to playing. Well, I did all the research. Thanks to y'all for turning me on to Bonaventura. Never been to Fort Lauderdale. I can't wait to experience this place in all its glory. I'm gonna have to get a Gatorade. Hello? Hi. Hi, you have any Gatorade? Oh, are you open? Oh, okay. Gotcha. No problem. They had Gatorade. It was warm. And uh, they're fixing the electricity. It's quite possible the broken electricity just saved my life, though. This would be the range here at Bonaventura. You hit over this water pond to this little flag here. A couple little flags. It's a little rough. Just came up short. We're in this fringe area and it's a bit patchy, but it's not that horrible. There's places where you could hit and get a good lie. I'm not in one of them, but we'll see if we can't manage. Well, I brought my sand wedge just in case, but to be honest, this green, it just, it doesn't look as bad as some of the photos online and some of the descriptions. I think they've, they've grown in, they've repaired them, at least the first one. We'll see how it goes. The tee boxes are a bit shaggy and patchy and not the most level. That was a bit sketchy. But it looks like they're repairing it, I hope. So, that's a good thing. Good news, we get to do a bunker review. There's no rakes, that's bad. It's kind of a dirty, grainy sand. It's probably typical, like indigenous to this neighborhood though, or this area. Pretty firm, hard packed, but really like tiny grains of uh, sand. It's real um, fine sand. What is found in there? I mean, that thing's pretty cool. So far, it's far from the worst courses in America. This was one high on the list of bad courses based on the reviews from the last video, too. Either they have upped their game quickly in a hurry, or our expectations are a little higher than they should be. The rough out here is no joke, and it looks like it was recently mowed. It's a bit long for your recreational golfer, I'd say. This is like US Open, thick Bermuda rough. I think a negative for me, any golf course this would apply, would be you're right on the freeway. Now, 
can't always control that. But part of the reason I like to golf is for like the tranquility, the peace and quiet. I don't need a billboard on the fourth hole. But I guess you gotta do what you gotta do to make some extra cash to fix up the place. I wonder if the locked bathroom is going to be a common theme on these like low rated golf courses. Today we are rocking the EasyGo Elite TXT cart number 28. It's got your basic interior layout design, plastic as you would imagine, and nothing fancy going on there at all. But there's many worse carts we've seen than this. Tread on these tires varies from tire to tire. Overall rating, about a five out of 10. We do have the plexiglass flip up, flip down screen, and it's a bit dirty, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave it down today. We also have the covering for the clubs in case of a Florida afternoon, morning, or evening rain shower. That thing is disgusting. There's two cooler style sand divot repair things with a little shovel. Love that. But I did get confused because I, I thought it was a cooler. There's not one of those on this cart. It's got some scuffs and scratches on it. Might have been in a few fender benders over the years. I don't know how long this cart's been here, but it, it didn't show up yesterday, is what I'm saying. Oh, and that brake pedal? Yeah, good luck with that one. All in all, overall cart rating is about a five out of 10. See all those little bumps? Normally you would see that and say, oh, they recently punched the greens. That, those aren't punch marks. It looks like they're marks that the mower leaves when it mows. They need a new mower. I am concerned about this brake though because my cart won't stop. It doesn't, it clicks, it just doesn't, oh, there. It's there, it's like a little mouse trap. If and when you come here, little tip for you, bring a ton of golf balls, super inexpensive ones, because it's windy and there's a lot of water. Let's see if we can have some fun. Hit a low stinger layup. First birdie of the trip. My ball did not go in the water. It's in the rough right there. The problem is the rough is so crazy that you, you can't find it. It's sitting right there somewhere. So I had to play the imaginary ball because I, I didn't want to walk all the way back to the cart and get a real ball. So we got a par. You know, Bonaventura, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It actually has a really nice layout. Challenging and tough, tons of water features. This could be a legitimate tournament track. All they need is a better lawnmower and kind of get the grass in shape. I, I don't know why that ha happens. There's no reason for that. Hi. Got lucky. Hey. <laughs> I hooked a 40 footer right in front of these guys. They're actually working on the bunkers. So, okay, this is good news. I don't care if the bunkers are bad. Just have somebody out working on them. I finally hit a fairway and I got like this one patch spot. I mean, there's a lot of them, but I was hoping to be on short grass. I don't know what's better, the wispy, tall, rough for me. That's no good. This is better. The screen's got some problems. I, if you just catch the disease early, spray it with some stuff, you're good. I don't see the problem. I'm not sure why there's no rakes. Thought we were past all that. 
Now, this one has a rake. See that? That's like the first rake I've seen today. Maybe they can only afford so many rakes, so they just put it in the ones they think you're gonna go in. I think I've been pronouncing this name of this course wrong the entire time. I think it's Bonaventure, not Bonaventure. <laughs> it could be Bonaventure, but it looks like it's Bonaventure. Golf club. There you go. Sorry about that. I'm keeping this. That's it from uh, Bonaventure, Bonaventure, <laughs> whatever it is. On my scale of golf course rankings, on a scale one to 10, I'll give this about a 4.3. Here's my score for my first round. And now we're off to our next worst reviewed course in America. I'm always impressed when my bags make it, especially my golf clubs, just dropped them off. <sighs> Rushing to our flight, oh. heading to a, um, city I've never been before, believe it or not. Our next journey's taking us to the great state of Texas and flying into San Antonio. San Antonio, what you lack in smooth flights coming into this airport, you totally make up for in speed of getting out of here. Then it's about a 40 minute drive to a place that sounds pretty awesome, Canyon Lake. Pro shop says they're closed, checking at the grill. The TV's on in there. The door's locked. The sad part is I have a tea time. That ain't gonna stop us though. No matter what happens, we're getting out there. We are at the Lakeside Golf Club. This is already off to a great start for being the worst. Let's look at some of the recent reviews. Don't go here unless you need a good laugh at a disgusting course. Everything was overgrown. The greens were awful. Addison, one star. Not good. One star from Seth. He included a photo of what I think are probably the greens. <laughs> He's right by the photo. But let's not judge a book by its cover. Do not, I repeat, do not waste your time and money out here. Place needs to be bulldozed. John, one star. And my favorite review of them all, Mackenzie was a great bartender. Wings and fried pickles were delicious. Five star review from Renee. Well, I sure hope Mackenzie shows up so I can pay her for the round and get some wings and fried pickles. This feels like the beginning of the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> if, if you find, find this footage, footage I, hope I hope you make, you make a great, great video, video one day. day. I brought my riding bag today, so I ditched a few clubs. It's probably good for those clubs. There's a reason Texas players are such good ball strikers. This is why. I'm from California. I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark and assume that this is gonna be okay today. Oh. I thought after it hopped in the air six inches that it would kick straight, but it pulled, totally jumped left. This is my fault. I think this is the first course I've seen that the rough is greener than the fairways. <laughs> now you guys told me this place is bad. I disagree. I think it's just a different style of game. The flag sticks um, has perished, so it's lying down. But I'm just gonna hit five wood. I probably got like 40 yards. Gonna run it up. These greens are fast, faster than I thought. Mm. That green, I mean, it must be rolling at least a five on the stint meter. So I, I should have calculated that better. It might be hard to tell, but all the grass here looks Bermuda grass to me. Rough as Bermuda. I mean, the greens are dirt with the sprinkling of Bermuda. Oh. 
This hole is like my Toyota Land Cruiser. They were both made back in 1989. This will be the T marker review here at Lakeside Golf Club. That's really like a two stroke penalty, but it's worth it. Now, not everything has uh, two T markers, so we're using the whites. We got just a standard wooden T with the death spike in it. And then it's matching counterpart. Well, it doesn't match. Bonus points if you know what shape these are. They should be the same, but whatever. Somebody failed wood shop. And if you see them sticking up like this, it's because that's as far as you can shove those things in the earth. Great news. I found the green side bunker on this par four, but I'm in like an old footprint and stuff and there's not a whole lot of sand in here. No problem. I gotta say, when it comes to leaning flag game, lakeside, tops the list. This is um, hole five. I'm calling it a mystery hole. It's a 240 yard par four, but I don't know where the green is. It's gotta be over here. And there's a rake over there. So I'm just kinda gonna aim at that rake laying down by a, what used to be a sand patch. Oh, another leaning flag. <laughs> Batting a thousand. Might not be able to putt it anymore. The owner must have the putting yips. And he was like, forget this. I'll just make it so you can't putt. You have to chip. There you go. Also a new feature on these uh, Bermuda greens is what they've added are these death ants. Just about every green, there's landmines of ants that will suck you in their pit and eat off all your flesh. <sighs> Props to these guys for having water on the course. Yep, you have cups. Perfect. What am I thinking practicing off grass all the time? I should know better than that. This place is a country club after all. Private tennis courts. Look at those. What they should do is convert those to pickleball and this place would turn around overnight. They're a little resurfacing. I could buff that out in like a week, weekend. Paint some lines on there. I'll be knocking down the doors to get in this place. Swimming pool, huh? Come on. Oh, wait, there's no water in there. Tony Hawk would tear this place apart. I've learned my lesson. You gotta play the ping pong game here on these greens. So I'm not gonna aim straight at the hole. I'm gonna aim way right and hope it kicks way left. Why not? What is it gonna do any damage? I think you want the carts past there to flatten it out a little bit, to make things a little smoother. You know what I love about grass? It helps hold the earth together so it doesn't crack and crumble and rip apart. I literally might sink into a crevice in the earth never to be heard from again. I hope that doesn't happen. Man down, 
There's a hole. There we go. It's original from 1958. Well, I drew a decent lie here in the, I don't know if it's fairway or rough, but on the, whatever it is. So, par five, we're going for it. Driver off the deck, rock and roll. The entire freaking course needs repair. Signed, the membership. There's two things wrong with that. One is, they're right, the whole course does need repaired. I don't know why this one's any different than the rest. And two, the membership? <laughs> this course has a membership? Those poor guys and girls. Oh. I'm gonna go on a limb, and I'm gonna say this is their signature hole. And it looks like the repair might be in the form of their green. It's the greenest green they have on this whole course. And it looks like the backdrop of that would be pretty cool. So I'm, I'm calling, I'm dubbing 16 their signature hole here at uh, Lakeside. All right. Never seen that one before. Last hole, 18, let's finish her off. Birdie the last. Same shot as I had all day. There is a dude on the roof of the clubhouse doing repairs. So it doesn't look like they're gonna burn this place down. Although it wouldn't shock me if like there was a electrical fire and someone collected the insurance money. <laughs> oh, yo, we got it. Got a birdie. <laughs> what a way to finish. Anyways, we got a plane to catch because we're going to the next spot per your recommendations. Any ideas where it might be? <laughs> it's going to be great though, I'll tell you that. Let's hit it. Well, San Antonio, you guys are super efficient in the airport department, I gotta say. It's awesome. It's like 4 30 in the morning, catching a flight to my favorite city. You guessed it, San Diego. So it's up in the air to head west to San Diego, California. Welcome to San Diego, where the local time is 10 39. Then we hop in the car and we drive an hour north to a place called Lake Elsinore. We have made it to the Lynx at Summerlee here in Lake Elsinore, California. Let's get to the reviews. Juan says in his five-star review, I think it's a mostly sarcasm in this. He says, uh, as a scratch golfer, it becomes difficult to find a challenging course, but this one just did it for me. I never thought I would have difficulty locating a fairway from the tee boxes. But to my amazement, I could hardly tell where the rough and the fairway met due to the challenging landscaping of this course. Randy, with his one-star review, says, top candidate for worst course in the world. Looks and plays like it's abandoned. It's clearly not abandoned. There are people here. And T. Wood, hmm, with his one-star review, says, Played here on uh, 423, the worst course we have ever played on. Nothing like the pitchers. Nothing like it's been years ago. Just dirt and rocks. And Miguel, with his one-star review, said, played here for the first time. Did my due diligence and looked for reviews, videos, and photos. Couldn't find anything. Hopefully Miguel plays golf better than he searches for reviews because they're not difficult to find. Let's get checked in. Links at Summerlee. Rock and roll. Let me know if it's the worst in the world. Checking in. Here we go. Uh, front nine's closed. 
So that's bad news. They're punching. I didn't think they'd have the budget to even consider punching. And um, probably no drone footage because their parachuters are all over this joint, flying and planes and stuff. So do the best we can. So far, I do not know where the fairway starts on this hole. Oh, and this will be my, that was my first swing. Uh, since yesterday in San Antonio. 3.30 wake up, two plane flights, hour and a half drive, in and out burger, double-double, fries, here we go. So far, everything's great. The guys in the shop were super nice. Couldn't be more pleasant. So great job, shop dudes. This is all fairway we're on. It does resemble the moon. I haven't been there but that's what I would assume it looks like. Great news. Uh, I hit it over 300 yards on my first tee shot off travel day. Two, there's a lot of green in this fairway. First hole, so, like, there's a lot of area if you hit the fairway to find green grass. I hit the fairway, so more great news. But I can't make this stuff up. This is the spot my ball found. The Bob Dust Sports guys must be out here doing a Coors Challenge or <laughs> some other dudes having a good old time. This is some type of crab grass. It's really not supposed to be on a golf course. But I am in the rough, so it's my fault. Stay far there. They must be punching like once every five years because they certainly don't punch once a year. Maybe they do, but it doesn't look like it. Obviously, we got some issues going on. So it needs a good hole punching. It needs a lot of things. They might need a hole punch like every month for the next few months, but it has potential. I'll tell you that. Although we're playing bad courses, you can still have a good swing. In the link in the video description below, you'll see a link for this guy. This is the hack motion sensor. What you do is you strap this onto your wrist and it would let you know where your wrists are, wrist is throughout your swing. It's a really cool device. It's helped me a lot get a better impact position, better top position, and a much better follow through after post impact. So hack motion, give them a checkout, link in the video description below. This will be your bunker review here at the links at Summerlee. This is the bunker. Kind of looks like a crater struck here. This is, it's not sand. It's like crushed rocks. And what's cool is a lining surrounding the bunker it's full of gopher and snake holes and death ants. They're here too. And then below that, right on the border of the bunker and that stuff are a bunch of weeds. Car review here, links to Summerlee. Today we are rocking the Elite RXV cart number 60 today. These are electric powered carts. So far, so good. There is some weird bump I have coming out of the left rear wheel. Not sure what it is, but there's something going on down there. It's totally dirty. I don't think it's been cleaned in a while. It needs a good car washing. Looks like they did get a muddy rag and kind of wipe it down though. I don't know if that helped or hurt, but it's muddy. Tread on the tires, it's like a four out of 10. And we do have two, two bottles of Divot Mix, but each one is half full. So we kind of got one bottle. There's a no flip up, flip down screen. Just open. So you get a nice cool breeze in your face the whole day. All in all, this car is probably about a four out of 10.
whoever cut this hole, there's so many good areas on this green to put the hole. Now, he did cut the hole on the grass part, but nearly surrounding the hole is all dead green. That didn't take too long. Nice little birdie. I love how bad all these courses are in very, very different ways. I'm in the bunker, also known as a beehive. I don't know if you could hear them, but they're everywhere. I think I pissed one off. It's a bogey, but at least I got up and down from the beehive and I did not get stung. I managed to elude and escape that one that was coming after me. Here's the litmus test right here, is the restroom. The guy who takes care of the greens and the grass is not the same person that takes care of the restrooms. Is it an owner issue, management issue, or is it people issue? Here we go. Well, we'll never know. <laughs> I would, if I'm top golf, I buy this place and I put my top golf driving gaming money making money printing business right here and then I light this place up so you can play at night. So you know how they give you like a little um, a number system like the pins in location one, two, three, four, five. Here you like need a treasure map to find the flag. Like on this one it's gonna be way over tucked in the corner, on the next one it's gonna be way over there gonna be on this island here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can only do so much. I mean, I, it should count as in because I, I landed on the island. Got a deal for you. This is our last hole, 18th hole here at the Lynx at Summerlee. It's been an awesome video, an awesome trek across America. If I birdie this par five, I will give one of you this ball that I'm playing this hole with, that I found at this course. Like an Indian guy with the, some clubs. So two things have to happen. We gotta not lose it, and we gotta make a birdie. Now, don't fall for any scammers out there, okay? A lot of scammers on YouTube. Here's how it will work. I will reply to your comment. It'll come from my channel, and my channel only. It has a check mark verification on YouTube. I will ask you to DM me on Instagram. When I do that, and we connect via my Instagram account, then I will ask for your address and I will mail you the ball. I will never ask you to pay a penny for anything. So if anybody says, hey, send me $4 for shipping, don't do it. It's a scam, nothing. I will not ask for one dime. All right, if this goes in, one of you gets this ball. M S G. Hope you had a good time. Worst rated courses in America, part two. Love you guys. See you next time.